Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the beige carpet. Beige. <laughs> beige. Uh, my kilowatt little power meter here has gone wonky. It, um, I noticed... Let it settle here. Wattage mode is always measuring a small amount of wattage and there's nothing connected to it. I've never done that before. Let's go back to bolts. And uh, this thing would stay put. I have to put my foot on it here. Eh, you have to angle it right because these stupid LCD screens. So adjust the variac. Crank it up. See, it measures the higher voltage. But as I turn it down, well below line voltage, it stays at line voltage. Or, uh, I should say it stays at 120. I used to actually measure lower voltage. That is weird. So let's see what the meter has to say. I am in volts. AC, see we're at 95 and this thing's saying 120. So this thing is not right. It still seems to measure wattages fairly close, but yeah, it might be off a little bit, but it's definitely not behaving properly. I'm going to make an attempt to fix it. You know, at least open it up and probe around and see what I can find. Not really much to it. All the action's on the other side of this. Probably a blob chip or something. Not too many components. I will take the meter and probe around here. See if I can find anything interesting. Well, I took the meter here and went through all the components that I have access to, you know, the leads here, measured them in circuit. I didn't take this board out or anything. Everything checks good except for this green capacitor. It's supposed to be 0.47 microfarads and it measures 0.29. And uh, I probably should take it out just in case something in circuit is throwing off the measurement. So this might be like a uh, capacitive dropper circuit. It uses the uh, reactants to drop the voltage. Well, limit the current to drop the voltage to power this meter circuit. And uh, perhaps it's causing the voltage to drop too much when I turn the voltage down in the variac and maybe giving an erroneous measurement. I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. So I guess the next thing is is to find a capacitor of that value and pop it in there. Well, first take this one out and measure it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. That measure's bad. Well, somebody sent me this subwoofer thing. Look familiar to anyone? It has a 24 volt supply and some Class D amplifier board on it. And it has this little cap seems to be rated what we need this one is uh, 300 volts this one's 275 but it's 0.47 this is supposed to be 0.47 so yeah, quite a bit smaller way smaller 
did give you uh, several hole positions to fit different size caps. Hopefully it fits this one. You know, this is a 120 volt device, so voltage is plenty good, so I'm not worried about that. Well, let's get this off there, test it, and see if we have a fit. All right. About 0.46, close enough. Let's see if it'll fit here. Oh, look at that. If I get it on the screen there. Yeah, they, see they provided all these holes to fit different size caps, and this one fits. So let's pop that guy in there and put this together and see if it's going to work or not. Okay, got it in there. Neat little trick I heard somewhere. If you're having problem clearing the solder from these holes, you now this is a double-sided board, so there's a through hole, and lead-free solder, if you try to use the braid to clean these holes out, it's difficult. So what you do is solder on some more solder there, and then desolder it, and it'll clear the hole right out, and it's a neat little trick, and it works. But anyhow, I'll put this thing together and see if it works. And look at that. It's in the ballpark. Let's see where it craps out at. Go we'll measure down to that yeah, starting to fade out around 75 volts or so. Turn it back up to, well, let's crank it all the way up, 130, 140 volts. Turn it down to regular line voltage and check wattage. And that phantom draw is gone too. All right, so glad to have this back. This is a useful little tool. And uh, won't have to buy another one. In the last video, I mentioned about keeping old electronics around to scavenge parts off of them. And I didn't plan this video. It just happened to work out this way. And yep, scavenged a part off of old electronics to get something else working again. Well, I broke open the capacitor see what was going on yeah it's it's pooched a lot of the metalization is gone kind of looks like this in a way I found this document on the web I went to Google and typed in failure modes of film caps and this is what came up and uh, a couple months ago, I think, Dave Jones over on the EEV blog did a video about film caps and their failures. Because he had something similar happen. And yeah, this says, Demetalized electrodes by corona arcing in the gas gap between the films. So, so yeah, this... Uh, this cap is pooched. Maybe I can use this for a uh, a silver streamer or something <laughs> at a birthday party. Now I can get back to testing the power usage of my diode bulbs. That's it. Thanks for watching.